All right, hey guys, it's David here from Deal Machine, and I'm with Ronnie from Simple Wholesaling. Oh yeah. How are you doing today? Doing good, man, how are you? Good, and uh, I was just in the office, and Ronnie was telling me about a specific deal he did mm -hmm. with Deal Machine that I thought was really cool to share. Mm -hmm. Can you walk us through what exactly happened that day? Yeah, um, I had started with, uh, with Simple Wholesaling, um, and we were just working some deals, and uh, one of the things that we talk about on our meetups is, you know, sometimes driving for dollars, you know, it is always just a good tool to use. Um, so even though we have all this marketing and mailing, different things like that, I went to Walmart one day and I decided to take a different route home. Um, and I saw a house that kind of stuck out and I didn't, at the time, I didn't know what to do with it. Um, and so I just kept going. Um, and then a couple of weeks later, I went by and looked at the property again and drove. I was like, this property is still sticking out like a sore thumb. But at that time, um, you know, we had deal machine that we could use. And I said, well, let's just see what happens. And so, um, you know, it was an experiment time for us. Um, I deal machined the property. About a week later, I got a phone call um, from a lady and I was looking up the address. And I was like, wait, this is... This, this is that house I, that I took a picture with and they used the app. Um, and so, uh, you know, got her backstory. Um, she um, was living in North Carolina, um, was sick. Um, the house had just been sitting there for months, empty. Um, and she uh, was just really kind of on the fence if she wanted to, to sell the home. And so eventually, you know, built rapport with her, talked with her. She came up, we organized um, a time to meet at the house, looked at the house, um, agreed to buy the house. Mm -hmm. um, she was happy. We created a win-win situation, mm -hmm. um, and uh, we made a really nice profit on the property. Um, you know, over twenty grand. Over twenty grand. Over twenty grand. And it's because you saw it sore. It stuck out like a sore thumb. Like a sore. Can thumb. Can you explain what that meant? Like, what exactly was that about the house? Yep. Yeah, so um, the house in this neighborhood, um, you know, it had a really nice siding, um, and it looked like the rest of the houses. But there was something about the windows. There was something about the trees. Something about the grass. You could just tell there were some things that were kind of sticking out that. The house was not being maintained well mm -hmm. um, and so usually if you see those motivating factors or something like everybody else is taking care of the neighborhood but the house isn't um, you know something's kind of just off a little bit and that's what it was and so um, you know I went ahead and looked in the back uh, in the backyard the shrubs were overgrown a lot of windows and stuff were just really foggy and dirty um, you know so it just really just kind of just stuck out like this one does not look like all the others that are keeping up with the homeowners association so mm -hmm. you can tell like the homeowners yeah. association is probably on your front door or upset about something so homeowners association mm -hmm. that sounds like this was a nice neighborhood it was a very nice neighborhood this all wasn't right. your you know a, a neighborhood where you might typically find or think to find motivated sellers this one was you know in a higher end um, um, home but um, in a really nice neighborhood um, in yeah. Fishers. I always think those are the best. I, agree. I I I first would start out in neighborhoods where the houses were very very run down, mm -hmm. and then what I noticed was my sweet spot was on the deals that I could get like more profit was mm -hmm. was from a house that might be in my case worth like at least one hundred sixty thousand dollars in perfect condition. Agreed. And then there's like a little bit more room there for you to to make a profit mm -hmm. or to put money into it to mm -hmm. fix it up. Yep, agree. Yeah, ARV in this neighborhood would easily you know two twenty five. Wow, yeah. that's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, cool. Thanks so much for sharing that story. Anything else you'd, you'd add about um, just tips for using Deal Machine? Like I was told, um, when using Deal Machine, if you're going to Walmart, going somewhere else, if you got kids, because I have six of them. Whoa! <laughs> um, <yeah. laughs> so, you know, um, I, always, you know, just, hey, kids, let's go out, let's go get some air. You know, um, and this is something that you can do multitask, learning different parts of your city, um, you know, even teaching my kids, because now um, I have a three-year-old, and she's like, Daddy, I want to go look at the houses! And so, like, now <laughs> one of the things that we do sometimes on the weekend is that, you know, just to kind of get them some air, is we go driving for dollars sometimes. I love that you involve them in that, and they love that. Definitely, man. Definitely, man. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's true. Um, no, but um, I, I love it. I like it. And um, it's worked for us. Deal Machine is real. Thanks. Thanks, Ronnie. No problem, David. <laughs>